Now second tissue what we are going to do is the muscular one. As you all know that muscles are very important in a body, in a body, in all bodies, like in the human body also. And approximately we have 600 uh, this thing muscles in our body. So if you talk about the muscle tissue, so obviously it will be formed of this muscle cell. So what are the characteristics of the muscle tissue we are going to do here? So obviously this tissue forms the muscles of body. And you, we know that muscles have special property that they can actually contract and relax. But what make a, the, like their rhythmic contraction and relaxation only help us to move. So that means they have a special property to contract and relax. Likewise, so obviously their contraction and relaxation can bring about movement in us. In us, and I told you that approximately 600 muscles are present in human body. Or not approx, it is the uh, actual number that is the 600 muscles. So, if we talk about the types which are present in the human body, so we have three types of muscles which are present in the animal body. That is the striated, smooth, and cardiac. Now, what is striated? How they look like? This is the striated diagram. Here you can see that it is actually somehow cylindrical and white. It is cylindrical and thick you can say, it is, it is cylindrical in shape and it has got many nuclei in it. As you have seen that it is multinucleated, it has got many nuclei. We, we know that these, uh, these things, the dash dash which we have, have made, they are light and dark bands. They have this striation also, they have light and dark bands, multinucleated. These are fibers, uh, so they are called as myofibrils. And you know that uh, it is uh, called as skeletal muscles because these are the muscles which are actually joined with the bones. So summing up, they are skeletal because they are joined with the uh, bones and they are striations because they carry light and dark bands. How they look like cylindrical with multinuclear nuclei, they are voluntary in action that means they are present in those organs which work according to our will. So they are voluntary in actions and you know that they are a property that they contract very fast but they soon get tired, but they soon get tired. So these striated muscles are present in an organs which work according to our, uh, our will that is the arms, legs likewise. Coming on to the second type we have smooth muscles. How they look like? They are somehow spindle shaped, only one nucleus, one big size nucleus. This is again myofibrils as you can see, but it has no light and dark bands, so it is unstrited muscles. And moreover, it is present in the uh, parts where uh, which do not work according to our will. So that means it is involuntary muscle or you can say this is visceral muscle. Visceral muscles are those which are present in visceral organs and visceral organs are those which do not work according to our will. So they are spindled with large, large nucleus involuntary because it does not work according to our will, unstrited light and dark bands, no, no light and dark bands are there and uh, in contrast to it, it contracts slowly but can remain contracted for a longer period. So this is what is the property of the smooth and so it is present in visceral organs that is digestive tract, urinary bladder, uterus like this, blood vessels. Third is the cardiac. As the name suggests, we know that cardiac word is associated with heart. So obviously it is a muscle which is present in a heart. It looks like this. It actually has some features similar to this and some features similar to this. Like it has striations, the, the similar feature that is it has light and dark bands. And uh, moreover, uh, you know that it is multinucleated like this. It is multinucleated, not cylindrical, but multinucleate. But how it look like? It is actually irregular network of membrane. We see here it is an irregular network of membrane with many nuclei. And you know that this muscle has actually, uh, uh, it, like a it has a characteristic of smooth muscle that it is involuntary. And moreover, you know that this muscle has a special property that it is non-fatigue muscle. It can remain, it can contract and relax throughout the life without becoming fatigue. And you know that the day it becomes fatigue, we die, right? Because this is the muscle which is responsible for the contraction and relaxation of the heart. And we know that heart is a major organ which is responsible to pump blood to all body parts, right? So this is what is a cardiac muscle. So these three types of muscles are there, scale striated with striation, skeletal muscle, voluntary muscle, multinucleated, contract fast but soon get tight. Smooth, spindle, involuntary, unstrited and contract slowly but can remain contracted for a longer period as compared to striated. Cardiac, present in heart, uh, irregular network of membranes, multinucleated, striated and it is a non-fatigue muscle. So this is what is a muscle tissue. So now we are going to do the nervous tissue, right? So this is what is a 
uh, muscle tissue right so just uh, go through it once try to draw diagrams and just learn them and learn them with their different names also like i call striated as i can call striated as skeletal muscle so because you may get a question uh, on a skeletal muscle so there if you don't remember the name so you'll get confused that which muscle was a skeletal muscle so you should be aware that striated is one which is called a skeletal also it is called as voluntary also and uh, smooth muscle is, is one which is called as visceral muscle also and unstriated also so you should know uh, their uh, other name also so this is what is a muscle tissue